Hello there, all you art and coloring addicts. Thank you for choosing to tune in to Angie's Art Addicts YouTube channel. My name is Angie, and yes, I'm an addict. So, what I wanted to make this video today about was a little bit of a discussion, talking about some feelings that I had dealt with yesterday that I'm sure I'm not uh, alone in. I had decided I was going to try my uh, pro markers that I had gotten last week in a grayscale coloring book to see if I could do it. And so, as usual, I tried to find a tutorial online to um, follow along with, and I had found this one right here. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, and there is my results. <laughs> I had taken the picture to show to a couple of friends of mine how bad I thought it looked. And of course, being the nice friends that they are, they, you know, told me, oh, it's fine, Angie, you know, it looks fine, but it doesn't, and I knew that. Um, and so, I had had a pretty emotional last 24 hours dealing with a fraudulent charge on my debit card and so forth. So I was a little on edge, I guess, emotionally a little bit. And so after looking at what I had done, after trying to follow along with the exact same markers as this, this woman on YouTube, I literally just cried. Um, I just felt like everything that I touch and everything that I do just really sucks. Um, I had felt that way recently. I had followed a tutorial with... Um, coloring with Alina and I am a paid Patreon supporter of hers she's amazing and I definitely recommend her but I followed along with the night voyage is what it was I'm trying to find it here it was a neo color and the exact same thing pretty much happened when I tried to do a neo color 2 tutorial uh, follow along with Claire in a Kirby Rosane's book so I did the you know the coloring tried to add water and it just does not look like hers and so I just gave up. And you know, I, I am trying to really figure out where these feelings are coming from. Is it stemming from my childhood? You know, is it just that I just never felt like I was good enough? And I definitely think that that is a very good possibility. Um, you know, just a lot of, you know, past feelings of kind of being the standout, you know, the, the person that didn't really fit in or that I thought everybody was better than. And you know, I guess these feelings are still here as an adult and Obviously, I have a love for this art and this hobby because I've invested so much in it and so much time and money, but I just want to find joy in it. And I do find joy in making these videos and, you know, trying different things and doing stuff, but I just want to be able to sit down and color and feel good about what I'm doing. So I guess the reason why I'm telling you this is because I wanted, you know, anyone who might be watching this to know that they're not alone in their feelings. And I think that we who feel like this should you know, just buckle up our bootstraps and, you know, stay for the long ride, long haul, whatever you want to say, and just keep trying because, you know, I have done a few things that I, that I thought were, was good. Um, I had tried a color along, um, with Anne, I believe, and I, I was really happy with this. I thought it turned out great. Um, I didn't finish up with it because that's kind of what I do with everything, but I was happy with this, very happy, and I thought I did really good. Um, don't really know what happened with this, but it's over. <laughs> and, um, if anybody's interested, this is the Adorable Animals Grayscale Coloring Book by Jane Madde, I think. It's a very beautiful book. Um, the grayscale is just perfect in it. In the back, it shows, you know, a ways you can color it for each picture with the pages and so forth. So, it's a very good book. Um, then I decided this morning I was going to... Um, try to do a tutorial from a online website I had found. I think it's hulish.com. H-U-E-L-I-S-H.com. And I have emailed the website to make sure it was okay to add them on the description and kind of have you guys follow me along with the tutorial. But I printed out a few pages from them. Uh, they have an awesome website. You can actually download an entire like 100 plus page book on Grayscale. It has amazing pictures that you can download and print. Don't ask me why this one printed black and white and this one blue. I have major problems with my printer and I don't know why this does that. I decided that did not look very clear so I went ahead and did it in a smaller format like it was originally supposed to be and did a couple of others uh, printed out. Oh, it's H, there it is. H-U-E-L-I-S-H dot com. And there are full length uh, tutorials and uh, follow color along that you can do. Um, for each of those uh, website or each of those pictures, I apologize. 
Um, and that is what I had planned to do. And you know, when I was getting out all the colors that they had in the tutorial, which are, let me set these to the side, these right here, polychromos, they also have the same thing in uh, like a conversion for uh, Prismacolor. And then some of the tutorials are with Prismacolor. I had uh, got those out to sharpen them and get them set out for what I need to do with this. And I realized that I've had these pencils since November and they're still brand new. <laughs> and these are a little set of Pablo's that I had gotten in November and those are still brand new too. And, <laughs> and I was looking at the uh, Neo Color 2's that I've had. I, these are like paired up in fives because I was doing my little watercolor book pages. Um, and they're brand new too and it really makes me feel bad about all of the beautiful things that I have because I'm not using them and I really do want to so I don't know if anybody has any you know suggestions comments anything I am up for you know some some suggestions as far as that goes but I just know that I'm not going to give up. I do know that. I know that I love this and it makes me feel good. I think that there's so many amazing artists online that I can't even fathom ever being that good. So anyways, um, I'm going to play this in the background and I'm really unsure as to whether anybody is even interested in watching this, um, but we're going to give it a try. I've seen people make hour-long videos of them just coloring and talking, so we'll see what goes on with this. So, I'm not really sure how to play this in the background and be able to talk. I, you can kind of see how the background is. So I'm just going to kind of set this over here and follow along. So they're starting with the lightest yellow here which is light cadmium yellow. They're doing like a very light on the entire, nope, nope, not the entire part, just this part right here. I think that I probably need to be very careful with the layers. I probably went too much there. Let's see here, they went ahead and went there. And I have only ever done one grayscale picture, and I did it out of my Tim Jeff's Intricate Ink Book. And I was pretty proud of that, actually. It was really easy. I used the Neo Color 2s. And I will show that to you before I end this video. I'm kind of trying to watch how she's doing that over there. I would really like to find a good book that I can use markers in. Let me turn this down a little bit. That is, you know, one-sided grayscale. I don't know if markers even work really well with grayscale. I have some markers in the mail at the moment. Let me see where she's doing that at. And uh, they should be here at the end of the week. I have these right here that I have already are Winsor & Newton Pro Markers. And I have some Winsor & Newton Brush Markers on the way. And some Winsor & Newton um, Watercolor Markers. So, I'm hoping that... Um, the brush tip works a little bit better than the chisel and fine tip. I have read that it definitely makes blending easier and so forth. So I will uh, do an unboxing for those and see how those work out. I also ordered the new Kirby Rosane's Color Morphia. I think the name of it is. It's pretty much like a highlight of all of his best or most loved um pictures from his books that he's had out already, like, you know, Imagimorphia and Phantomorphia. And I seen a woman on one of the coloring groups I'm in post that she had gotten hers in the mail. And when I seen that, I instantly realized that I never did pre-order one like I had planned to. So, excuse my arms getting in the way there. Let's see here. She changed over there. So I went online and I ordered it. And, you know, it's only $11. Um, look like a beautiful book. She said in the tutorial, or I'm sorry, in the flip through that, what is she doing there? Is she kind of coloring? Um, that the paper is better than any of the other books, which he is known for having great paper. I'm going to stop this. I don't think I can do this on video right now <laughs> and talk. Um, not real sure how to, you know, 
mute out the voice and speed up the video. So I'm not going to put you guys through the misery of, misery of watching all that. I will put a link into the uh, website to get this. If you're interested in doing it or any of the other stuff, I highly recommend it. It looked like it would be very detailed and very good. Anyways, so, um, yeah, that's kind of the, I guess, the point of me making this today. And I just wanted to let everyone know that if you are struggling with things, uh, we need to remember that, you know, we, at least myself, has not been doing this for, you know, three, five years, you know, or 20 years. I've never had an art class. I don't know anything about, you know, color theory or any of those things. And so I really need to try to give myself a break, I guess, and, you know, just not be so hard on myself. Um, it's hard. <laughs> it definitely is hard. Um, I think that I've had a lot of times I felt like sometimes the coloring groups and watching YouTube videos made it to where I don't like to color anymore because I don't feel like I am equivalent to what I see online. And so it just makes me want to give up, which isn't good. So anyways, before I sign off of here, I was just going to show you the, um, book that, uh, it's out of Intricate Eat. Uh, by Tim Jeffs. I got this, I think, for $6. It had a damage. That was all that was wrong with it. And I bought it from a used bookstore online. Anyways. Oh, I, this was the other thing that was wrong with it. Let's see here. The snake on the front page someone had colored. So, I can definitely take that and pay half price. Anyway, so this is the bird that I did. I did this with Neo Color 2s. And I just found a thing online. A picture of a... Uh, blue and yellow macaw and uh you know zoomed up on it and tried to do it and i was pretty happy with it but it's not hard to do it was just three or four colors you know like a forest green a light green and then the blue and yellow and a couple you know, a little bit of white and tan right there but i don't know i uh i'm struggling with a lot of things with this hobby and hopefully you guys can tune in and watch the journey of me trying to do you know different types of stuff and maybe following along with me and maybe letting me in on some of your guys' struggles or things that you guys deal with as well. So thank you so much for tuning in. It wasn't too much information there and hopefully I didn't bore anybody to death. <laughs> Hope you have a great and blessed day and thank you very much for tuning in. This is Angie. Have a great day.